Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And yes, another exciting episode with me. Uh, today's episode is all about, again, we're doing this uh, for a while. And we're studying for the 7410, which is a an exam for Microsoft to pass, which is the Server 2012 Installation and Configuration. This is actually part two. And part one, uh, I actually went over how to do the migration tool as well as ha uh, on how to install Server 2012. Uh, today's video, I am going to uh, show you the rundown how to enable remote desktop within uh, the core as well as the GUI. Uh, switching installations modes between core and GUI and GUI to core. Uh, features on demand, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall stuff from the GUI as well as the core. Uh, minimal server interface. Now, this is very important, especially if you guys have a uh, are trying to relieve some storage space from your server. You don't want to have certain things because you're not using it. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that stuff out and add and remove features in an offline image. Uh, if you guys are using Hyper-V or Hyper-V uses a VHD or VHDX uh, container, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to install roles within that VHD when it's off so that's pretty cool so let's get started so enabling remote desktop is really simple now I'm a, I have two virtual machines one virtual machine is core which takes you to you know the plain Jane this is what Microsoft wants you to use every day but they also give you the option to do the GUI which gives you the nice little graphical user interface that everyone is so familiar with now to enable the remote desktop within the server manager dashboard we're going to click on local server and by default when you install server 2012 the remote desktop is disabled so we're going to click on it and it's going to give you this you want to click on that it's going to basically say that remote desktop firewall inception will be enabled which is okay you know and select your users pick the users that you want uh, or group or security group that you want to have access to this particular server pretty simple right okay so we're gonna press ok cancel I'm not gonna do any remote desktop at all uh, the other option is the way that Microsoft wants you to do everything on server 2012 is by command prompt so I'm tr I'm gonna try to get into the system system 32 there we go I'm gonna clear this out so you gotta get into the Windows system 32 path and you guys want to do a uh, C script uh, space C reg edit dot uh, WSF forward slash AR forward slash V hit enter. Now, what I just did is this right here uh, is viewing the setting to enable or disable the remote desktop within a core environment. Now, it's set on one. When it's set to one, automatically it's disabled. We need to set it to, to zero. Uh, I use the parameter of forward slash V to view the current status of the reg. So the way that you do it is you remove that parameter and we're going to add a zero and we're going to hit enter. So the registry has been updated and I'm going to do a V and now it's zero. Now by us doing this, uh, we actually enabled remote desktop manually within the core environment. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so enabling the remote desktop is pretty simple within uh, the the GUI interface as well as the core uh, but how about switching installation now again like I keep on saying Microsoft really wants you to work with this environment this is the core version but let's say you want to work with the GUI now within the core you're actually able to uh, get into the GUI you're able to go to GUI to core to core to GUI so I'm gonna actually show you this so uh, within this uh, command prompt you want to do a PowerShell because you got to run a PowerShell command and uh, once you do that you're gonna notice that you're you're gonna have your command prompt with a PS PS is PowerShell I'm gonna clear that out you guys want to do it import dash module server manager and the one that's gonna actually install the GUI would be this command would be install Windows feature server GUI MGM which would be management infrastructure make sure you type that right comma space server GUI shell and we are going to do a restart so we're going to hit enter 
uh, once you enter all that stuff correctly you're gonna get this information here it's now this this process takes a while uh, so once the process is done it's gonna restart the machine and we are uh, inside our GUI so once we're inside our GUI I'm gonna show you guys how to revert back to the core and we're back so the core to the GUI uh, installation is already completed uh, we are inside the core and now let's say you want to do GUI graphical user interface to core so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our PowerShell we're gonna run it as an administrator and the command prompt that you guys want to do is uh, uninstall uh, Windows feature make sure you spell it right Windows feature and it's going to be server GUI management infrastructure server GUI shell and we're going to do a restart and hit enter and it's, it's basically the same command that we did to initiate the core to GUI uh, but the only difference is we're not doing a commandlet of install Windows feature. We're actually doing uninstall Windows feature with the same parameters. And then once you run it, you're good to go. So again, uh, I'm actually doing this on this uh, virtual machine core. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, hopefully we will be uh, we will be back <laughs> uh, into the core version. And we're back. So finally, uh, the GUI to core installation process of removing all the nonsense that we do we don't want within core uh, is finished. So I'm going to send a control delete to this uh, virtual machine, and I'm going to log in, and we are back into our command prompt. So that's how you guys are able to do core to GUI and GUI to core. It's really simple, right? Uh, again. With this exam, it's best that you uh, get familiar with PowerShell, especially with uh, uh, all the commandlets that I'm going to be pushing out throughout the video series, because uh, a lot of the commandlets are going to be uh, on the exam. Okay. Now, another thing about the 7410 is uh, features on demand. Now, like I said before, uh, Microsoft really wants you to work on this environment they want you to work with the core they want you to start using PowerShell more and more uh, the core version is a little it's awesome to me because it's a small footprint in the hard drive giving you enough space to do other things It's a strip down you don't have Internet Explorer you don't have the desktop you don't have all that nonsense running in the background uh, killing your memory you're, you're doing it's it's like uh, like old school windows like the C prompt age but a little bit more popular. So within the core, you're able to uninstall stuff that you don't really want. So to do that, let's go to let's go do PowerShell. I want to get into the PowerShell, and I'm going to do a CD backslash. So I get into the C, and I'm going to clear it out. Now to uninstall features within the server, uh, you could do a get Windows feature command. And what that would do would give you a, a collection of all the Windows features that you already have installed uh, within your server. Like right now, it's collecting all the data, and it should give you a list of everything that's installed. Okay. Now, if you look at it carefully, the ones with the X are the ones that we have already installed. I don't really have much installed into this virtual machine uh, because it's it's brand new. It's one of those brand new ones. But this is the name that you would provide it. If you want to remove stuff, so let's let's remove something from this machine. Uh, so let me go all the way down here, and let's go uninstall Windows feature, and the name of what you want to remove. Let's go to Group Policy Management Console. Let's see if I I don't think I have that, but let's hit uh, remove, hit enter, and as you can see, that is how you remove stuff. From the Windows feature side, again, the only reason that you could, you want to do this is if you want to eliminate some space within your server to free up other services. Again, uh, this is this is pretty cool because if you guys have multiple services up and running and you're only utilizing maybe two or three of them for, within this server, remove it. Why not remove it, right? So that's pretty cool. 
Now for minimal server interface, let's say you want to strip away the desktop and the start screen and the Windows Explorer as, as well as the Internet Explorer. You don't you don't utilize or take advantage of those services at all, but they're there taking processes and slowing down your machine. There's a way that you can actually remove that junk and only have the necessary stuff that you want. Now the way that you do this is you can either go into your management uh, as roles and features go to next 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 and within the features go to the location of uh, user interface infrastructure installed and just uncheck server graphical shell okay now again the exam 70 the 7410 is really based on commandlets knowing what you do, knowing what you know about PowerShell so I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the PowerShell again I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to show you that I do have the GUI um, interface so I'm going to run right click and we are going to run uh, PowerShell into an administrator so the PowerShell command would be uninstall windows uninstall dash windows feature server GUI shell what if now the what if command uh, parameter that I'm doing is basically going to show me what will be removed so what if if I continue with the removal performing this on the station will basically remove the server graphical shell that's what I want okay so that's why I'm using the parameter what if because I want to see uh, best practice is you want to see what's going to be removed you don't want anything else to get affected right so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that what if command and make sure everything is right uninstall windows features server GUI shell we're going to hit enter okay so once it's complete it's going to want you to you must restart the server to finish the removal process so uh, again we're going to do a command prompt uh, partial command we're going to do a uh, shutdown forward slash r for restart forward slash t and uh, the t is the time so zero so it's going to restart itself right away and once it restarts hopefully it's going to remove uh, the desktop the start the taskbar and all that stuff and just give us the server manager and we're back so we're going to do is a uh, control alt delete we're going to send a control alt delete and we are going to log in awesome so once we log in it is going to give us this awesome this is very familiar right it gives us the nice little command prompt which is like core but as you can see my little mouse my mouse is still loading up but it's going to load up the server manager awesome now the only reason that we're doing this again is because we ran a shell command a PowerShell command to only remove the server graphical shell which eliminates Internet Explorer Windows desktop, the taskbar, and all that nonsense that we don't really use or take advantage of it. We just need to use this. From here, I'm able to go to manage. I'm able to do the tools. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's say you want to go back into the desktop. So within the desktop, I'm going to minimize this. And within my command prompt, I'm going to type in PowerShell, which will bring me up a PowerShell command, cd backslash to get to the C drive. CLS to clear it out and real simple install Windows feature server GUI shell hit enter and it will bring it back so once it does the installation you're gonna be needing to do a reboot of the machine uh, once you do the reboot of the machine uh, you're back into your uh, graphical user interface again I want you guys to make sure that I'm still within the same virtual machine and don't know tricks or mirrors uh, this is core right here and uh, this right here is the one that we're working on so it looks like installation uh, is completed but it needs to restart again to restart it we're gonna do a uh, shutdown command 4 slash r 4 slash t with the time of zero and that's it guys so uh, adding and removing features in an offline image what do I mean offline image now if you are taking advantage of server 2012 in Hyper-V which is hyper virtualization uh, most likely you have a, uh, a file that is an actual server 
Uh, these files are normally abbreviated as a VHD, which is a virtual hard disk, or a virtual uh, VHDX. Now, I actually created a dummy one for this example. It's not really a real one. It's just a really small, empty file that's a VHD uh, format. Now, within Server 2012, if you have a virtual machine within Hyper-V and you shut it down, uh, shutting it down is consists of offline. You're able to install features within that VHD file. Now, to, the way that you do that is you go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, go to Next, Next, and then once you get to this portion right here, you want to select the virtual hard disk. Uh, I'm going to browse to my virtual hard disk, which is right here. Hit Open and I'm gonna hit next now once you hit next depending on the size of your virtual hard drive it's gonna take forever to load up now this is gonna fail this is gonna actually fail because again like I said this is not a actual virtual machine this is a dummy file that I created just to show you guys what to do once you click next what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the the roles and the features to pick what you want the VHD to have this is where you install stuff okay now another way to do this again like always the 7410 is very uh, intense with command prompt so I'm going to show you guys how to do it within the command prompt so I'm going to right click go to run as administrator and the way that you want to do it is say install windows feature the feature that you want let's say you want DNS parameter VHD and now you would type in the location of the VHD and then if you want to take a be if you want to be a, a little bit proactive let's do a parameter restart and that's it you hit enter and then the DNS feature will be installed inside your VHD file again your VHD file needs to be turned off that virtual machine needs to be offline you're able to push out as many as you want in one shot with an offline VHD or VHDX file so that's that's pretty awesome I like that feature uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed part two of modifying your installation. Uh, we covered a lot. Um, I think on episode three I'm going to be doing configuring the core stuff a little bit more because the exam is heavily uh, is heavy on the core stuff. So I want to I want to brief on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them right below of the video. Uh, and don't forget about hitting that like button. I catch you guys later. Peace out.